Hello and welcome to another Python tutorial. My name's Tom with LearnPythonTutorial.com and today we're going to extend the list function a little bit. The previous tutorial we talked about list functions, now we're going to extend it a little bit. Uh, I mentioned in the previous tutorial uh, working with integers in as an argument in list does not work. Well, we can kind of do like a workaround. Say you wanted a number, uh, uh, a um, group of numbers in a list that are in an order, like um, 1 through 10 uh, in order. Well, we can do that by using range function on the list function. So let's take a look at that. We'll do we'll do list. All right, here's our list function. Then we're going to call range function. And we're going to give an argument here. And the argument is going to be 0 through 11. And I'll tell you why I chose 11 in a second. Uh, close out our range, close out our list, hit return. I get numbers 0 through 10. Now, this is just like slicing and indexing when we worked with um, slicing and indexing with strings. And what it does is it stops one number before the number that we indicate here in our argument. So it stops at 10. Um, and it's always going to do that with slicing, indexing, range, and so on. Um, so it's always one number. Our stopping point is always one number beforehand. So when we indicate 0, it's going to start at 0. When we indicate 11, it's going to stop at 10. So we got our list function, which says, hey, put everything in the list that that's in the argument. Our range goes, all right, I know we, we have a range from 0 to 10, so I'm going to split out every number from 0 to 10, or 0 to 11, and split out every number, spit out every number from there, and it puts it in the list, so that each one of these are its own object. Um, then we got one big ob object that's a list, so that's how that works. So what happens if we only provide one argument to range? So let's take a look at that. I'm going to say five. All right. Now, some other things we've worked with, it, you'd think this is the starting point and it's going to count up, like strings. If we gave one argument um, to uh, a method in strings, it's going to that's your starting point. Well, with the range, it the one argument is your stopping point. So it's going to start at zero and work its way up to it hits that stopping point. So hit return. And we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 would be the indicating stop at 4. Always one number less than the one we indicate. So we get a list of numbers in the range from 0 to 5. So the default starting point is always 0 um, in range. So basically we could have omitted 0 up here and we would have got the same result. So let's take a look at that. List, range, 11. Boom. Same exact result. We could have admitted it to zero. Um, but if you want any other number other than zero as a starting point, you need to include that. So let's say we want to start at one. We do list, range. We do one comma eleven. Close out range. Close out list. Hit return. And now we got one through ten. All right. Um, if you want to include zero, you don't have to uh, include that in the argument. But if you don't want to start on zero and want to start on another number, you need to include one or the other number where you want to start. So if I want to start like uh, negative four or something like that, say negative four to four, close that range, close that list, it's going to count up from negative four to three. All right. Uh, this also take range also takes another um, argument which is called stepping, where it counts by a certain number that you indicate. So let's take a look at that. Let's do list um, range, and we're gonna do zero, eleven, two. Oh, I didn't close out my list, so. Here's a uh, parentheses. I never close that out, so that's why I got the double dot. I'm going to enter. And I get 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. All right, so what happened there? Basically, we're saying give us a range of 0 to 11. So then it counts by 2. So it goes 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Counting by 2. So we can do the same thing. List, range, 0, 11, 
And then this time we're going to do 3. Close out range, close out the list this time, hit return, and we get 0, 3, 6, 9. So it counts by 3. Um, what about if I do like uh, list range? Um, let's do 0, 11 again. This time we're going to do 5. Hit return. And I get 0, 5, 10. Alright, so we're just counting by 5. This, the third number in it, says, okay, count by that. Now, um, what happens if I want to use list, but I want to omit zero, and I want to include stepping? What would happen there? Let's take a look. Um, now let's range. So we want to do 11, and then we want to count by 2. Return. Oh, we get an empty list. Why did we get an empty list? Well, basically, Python's looking at this as, hey, you want to start at 11, and you want to end at 2. I can't do that. So I'm just going to give you an empty list. So if you're using stepping, we need to include a starting point, like 0, 11, and then give our stepping 2, hit return, and then there's our list. Uh, so that's pretty much it for range. Um, this gives you a good, uh, an easier way to um, create a list of numbers in a certain order. So um, range get, f makes it a little bit more flexible of list, and it's a lot easier if you think about it. Say if I want to count, or if I want to create a list zero through ten, count by twos, I would have to write all this out to create that list, or I can just call the list call list function and then the range function as an argument and then provide the arguments I need to create that list for my program. So if you have any questions leave a comment on YouTube or on our website at learnpythontutorial.com. Don't forget to like the video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.